Raise the hearth and poll taxes by three pence? Are you out of your mind? You must find fun somehow. I'll gladly listen if you have any oh, better you. ideas. I shall confiscate the order's assets. Calm yourself, Foltest. You must raise taxes. There is simply no other way. Ah, I can exempt your crown. merchants from paying for storage along the Vizimur Tretagore route. Throw in one more concession and I'll agree. I shall forgive you all your affronts. <laughs> Yes. Fine. Another 200 grivners payable in two years' time. One year. 18 months. Cool. Raise the hearth and poll taxes by three pence. Are you out of your mind? You must find fun somehow. I'll gladly listen if you have any better ideas. I shall confiscate the order's assets. Calm yourself, Foltest. You must raise taxes. There is simply no other way. Then bold Foltest uttered these words. Virtuous Radovid. What the hell is that? I'm trying to keep a faithful and accurate record of these events. He said, stop deliberating, son. We need to put out the fire in this whorehouse. Geralt, you have no sense of poetry. There's the truth of time and the truth of legend. You'll never change. The pen is mightier than the sword, and you'll never change either. Off to save the world again when nobody's asked you. Forgive me, but I, I need to finish something. I understand. Good luck. You were wrong to cross me. You're the one who's wrong. Stop barking, Wolf, and draw your sword. Do you enjoy working for a madman? Do you murder for pleasure or simply to follow orders? I need not listen to you. You're not even human. reveals its true face. Under their shining armor, it's all rot. As I knew from the start, you saw as I did, Geralt. Come on, Yavin. Let's cut off this Hydra's head. Come inside. It's safer. You're right. Greetings. Prospering dwarf. War can be profitable. If not for the king's taxes, the plague take them. How did you get here? Don't you see? Knights, soldiers, and Skyatel run through the streets, cutting down who they can. 
I am a traitor to all of them. I see. And all their heads are filled with prophecies, destinies, strange signs and other nonsense. No one to talk to. Sorry to hear that, but I need to go. Farewell. Greetings, Witcher. Greetings. I'm afraid. The time for contempt has come, just as prophesied. What do you have in mind? No Ithlene's prophecy. Not exactly. The war with Nilfgaard proved it. For Ithlene foretold the blood of Enseid, of elves, would drench the land. People thought the age of the sword and axe, the age of the wolf's blizzard, had arrived. Know the rest? Not sure. Then listen. The time of white frost and white light approaches. The time of madness and disdain. Ted Dayred, the end of ages. The world will perish in frost. Enough pessimism. The prophecy has now begun. Depends on us. Farewell. May Melitele protect you. I don't care about prophecies. I care about the lives of ordinary people. I know you care about people. I saw Carmen happy with the captain of the guards. You know they got married? Nice to hear. Carmen endured a lot. She lived in the outskirts. Her father was a priest of the Eternal Fire, a damnable man of religion. When Carmen got pregnant, he cast her out. She went to Vizima. You know how that ended. I didn't know. You here? On an important mission for the king. Praiseworthy. I, too, wish to offer Foltest my services as an advisor in these difficult times. Sadly, I could not get through burning Vizima. I need to get to the monastery. I have learned much about a phenomenon of interest to you. The Wild Hunt. Tell me. In folk culture, the king of the Wild Hunt embodies death. He is the one who takes away souls. He is oft considered as the tool of destiny. Destiny? The Wild Hunt is an omen of war and tragedy. It has oft been seen recently near Vizima. Beware. I must go. Farewell. Trouble approaches! Don't kill me, Witcher! Well, a talking ghoul. I'm a mutant, as are you. Born with the gift of speech and an intelligence like that of humans. I know many intelligent monsters that are deadly. I am a threat only to those who threaten me. Let's say I believe you. I'm calm. Why are you here? I no longer need to hide in the cemetery. It's safer here. I come out at night, find food in the streets. Can't complain. The inhabitants of this home have no objection? They fear me. The little brat comes alone, talks without end. I must go. Farewell. door without a key.
Well, I I know I am Let's I'm why I did they I'm monsters in the cellar. I'll die anyway. They'll find me. They'll get me. Calm down. How do we get out? Through the window. Thanks. Surrender! The quarter is burning. We're too late. We'll have a chance to fight yet. Hold, in the name of King Foltest. Master Geralt, didn't recognize you. What's the situation, Captain? The Knights of the Order prepare to attack. Then we're in time.
We couldn't break through. Heavy fighting. Is there a safer way to the monastery? There's another path. Through the sewers. Dangerous. I have a key. Take it. Thank you. You won't... Azugal. With a zoogle in the sewers? Any professional advice? Avoid its tentacles. They're his chief weapon. His torso's his soft spot. Drink any venom antidotes you have now. Geralt, if I die... You won't. Ever heard of a freedom fighter dying while wading through crap? No, indeed. Let's put this corpse to rest.
We must hurry.
Who speaks the truth? Blessed are the humble. They pray instead of fighting fires. Duan. Have sympathy. They've lost their homes and loved ones. Prayer helps them accept their fate. Hmm. Many elves mourn today, too. Can you find nasen salts and winestone for my poultices? You waste my time. of struggle have borne bitter fruit. Bloody ass! He got me! You're bleeding heavily. Not good. Go on. The Squirtail will care for me. Kill that bastard to Eldersburg. Go! I'll come back for you.
Halt! No passage! Grandmaster's orders! I'm here on a matter of national importance. Shove off! The Grandmaster seeks solitude. Sorry, you give me no choice. Death! Halt! No! I'm here on- Shove off! Sorry. Halt! Behold, my people. They feast at my table, find warmth at my fire, and glow with happiness to be separated from the turmoil of war. You're deluded if you think the sight of women and children will make me leave you alone. I do not intend to deceive you. The white frost approaches, a cataclysm that will bury the world beneath snow and ice. Each night, I dream of icy wastelands and the death of the old civilizations. I've heard Ithlina's prophecy. The cataclysm is unavoidable. Kings prefer to wage local wars to expand their influence, while elves have become terrorists fighting for a lost cause. The world needs a savior, a man of the moment, someone to kindle the flame in people's hearts. You, savior of the world. Come, I will show you something. Humans are weak, frail, and inclined toward evil. I shall create a new man, perfect, tempered in the eternal fire. Finished? Because if you are... You doubt me? I do not blame you. I had my doubts too. Yet now, my vision is strong. Behold. The scales will fall from your eyes, and you will understand. Juggler's tricks. I expected more. You think this an illusion? Oh no, Geralt, it's nothing of the sort. Where are we? See for yourself. Follow me. Now that you have seen the ice-encased towers of Vizima, do you understand? You're rambling to Aldersburg. What do you want? This is the future. The White Frost has destroyed human civilization. This is the end of time. Do we lose heart, surrender? Never. We can yet avoid our fate. Save your rhetoric for the plebs. Understand. The Order and Salamandra acted only to save humanity. 
Every criminal claims a higher cause. You lack humility. Time for a lesson in some. The unexpected awaits you here. How did you get here? You're stronger than the Grand Master thought. You summoned me. How? The Grand Master invited you into a vision of the future enclosed in his mind, yet you brought your own visions and specters. So this isn't real? It's more than a dream. Should you die here, your death will be very real. I shall accompany you, assist you. But only a blizzard follows us with nothing beyond it but death. changed a bit, Witcher. Again, you emerge from nowhere to kill humans. What humans? As always, you're perplexing. Behold the remains of humanity. Ape men, wretched creatures worthy of disdain. Some my own great-grandchildren. They're human? The White Frost has stripped humanity of its luxurious robes. All that's left are beasts that think only of eating and procreating. They are human no longer. Their base instincts drive them like the lynch mob from which you saved me. I'm grateful. Take my gift. I see you have met our degenerate great-grandchildren. Do you understand now why you cannot oppose my plan? You have yet to say how all this ice justifies your crimes. Only a grand plan pursued without hesitation could save humanity from what I saw in my visions. Trust your daydreams that much? I never asked for these visions, this gift. But you chose how to use it. 
Many times you insisted special gifts should be used for just causes. I chose the most just of causes, saving millions of lives. And pursued it by ending hundreds of others. How many more do you aim to condemn? You have no notion of the approaching cataclysm. The spirits of those who perished wander here. Tell them they had no right to survive. You killed them though they were not guilty. They did not wish to die of the cold, nor to live on as spectres. No one gave them a choice. Was I supposed to let myself get killed? That's not my style, Teruvio. None of us choose the path we must follow. We all make choices throughout our lives. What would you say about me? I wanted peace, yet war proved my fate. Why are elves such fatalists? You could have escaped, yet chose to fight. And I shall choose to fight again, accompanying you now, if only for a moment. Do you finally understand, obstinate witcher? Humanity will perish. The few who remain will become animals. My plan would avoid this. What plan, dammit? The human nations can only survive the cold through a mass exodus south. With you leading them? I'm prepared to do so. I see the future. I command respect. I would rule well. Of course, I had to get rid of any standing in the way, especially non-humans. Why so obsessed about other races? Geralt, they are condemned to perish. I gave them a chance to die in battle. Humanity is also a passing phase. But unlike elves, we won't leave much behind. We won't disappear, not with the guardians I created. You'll see soon enough how well they manage in these conditions.
Do you f- What? The hum- With you- I'm prepared- Wise- Girl- Humanity- We won't- The Order could have saved humanity. A coup d'etat. Murder. Experiments on children. Too high a price. Why am I talking to you? You claim to protect humans, yet you've thrown them to the beast. Why? Because you're not human yourself. I should have seen your true face and killed you when I had the chance. Try me now. Draw your sword, freak! Just an illusion, Triss. How stubborn you are. I could use you to shepherd my sheep during the first years of winter. I doubt you mean it. You stole our secrets from Kaer Morin, used them for the worst ends. I needed witches, but knew the secrets of mutation had been lost. You witches had it all, but lacked courage and vision. I merely did what you desired in your hearts. You took them as if they were your own. You're a thief, a hypocrite. Are you incapable of seeing the golden path of my dreams? My knights will explain it to you in a way you will understand.
Look, Geralt. Humans, monsters. Easy to mistake one for the other. True, Your Highness. I should know, wouldn't you say? The Grand Master is clearly a madman. Even I wouldn't dare pursue a plan like his. We must stop him. Milady, your wish is my command. You have class, a rare quality. I wish to fight alongside you. Call it a whim. Part of the vision. He controls all. You must go on alone. See you, Triss. I'll be back. Good luck, Geralt. Now, do you see the need to act, whatever the price? Geralt, open your eyes, open your mind. They treat people like you at St. Lebiota's Hospital. By pursuing me, you proved me right. You faced the dangers that humanity faces and survived. Jacques de Aldersburg, your dream is over. Patience. You may yet change your mind. Imagine thousands traversing an icy wasteland. Could you defend them? You and a handful of witches ridden with doubt, like Berengar? Impossible. Only the greater brothers can do that. But they need to be taught and led. They need you. Enough. Our swords will speak for us. How confident you seem. A painful lesson awaits.
Salamandra is dying, soon to be a memory. Salamandra means nothing. It was but a particle of chaos, the tool of the madman you just slew. Your past, your destiny, the reasons for your resurrection, all remain unknown. Words, words, words. You've always used them ably to mask uncertainty and fear. I once promised I would follow you. Gibberish, Spectre. Tell me what you want or disappear. Reflect on your deeds, Witcher. I stood near you when you arrived at Kaer Morhen, an omen of its downfall. I observed as you judged the villagers of the outskirts, leaving only blood and fire behind you. You passed through Vizima like a sword through a heart. Accusing others, destroying lives, mindful of nothing but your own purpose, to be achieved whatever the means. You slaughtered dozens with your witch's sword. You threw gold to the Scoia'tael, fueling new massacres. You left Vizima in chaos, only to bring destruction upon murky waters. Every one of your decisions brought further devastation. Each choice you made led to greater evil. How did you feel when your elven friends set fire to Vizima and slaughtered Duan? Stop. Do not deny it, Witcher. You are my greatest champion, a perfect means of destruction. Wherever you walk, death and chaos follow. Now, as it was years ago, accept it. Do not fight it. Give up to me yet another man you destroyed. Jacques de Aldersberg is mine. You dare to oppose me? I sense your weakness as your life seeps from your wounds. With every drop, death draws nearer. You stand no chance against me. Yield to me. Never. This is between him and me. You aim to kill him anyway. True, but for my reasons, and they are nothing to you. Clear off while you can. Go before it's too late. You want to fight me? So be it. Your flight from death ends here. Draw your sword. I was afraid you'd suggest chess.
That sword is for monsters. You're awake, Geralt. I was getting worried. Dandelion? Where's the Grand Master? A few steps away. He's dead. For a minute there, I thought you were gone too. Hardly a pleasant nap. Was I out long? Long enough. The Order's been smashed into bits and Foltus has regained power. And Yavin? He was here a second ago, keeping an eye on you till I arrived. Then he had to go. Foltus will let him disappear. No doubt. After all, the non-humans tipped the scales in full test's favor. What about you? Did you succeed? Yes. I'll take the final element from Jacques and close this chapter. So, did you recover everything? Know what I found on the Grand Master? A Dimeridium pendant. The one you gave Alvin? I don't know. It looks the same, but older. He must have worn it under his armor for years. A true keepsake, perhaps. Maybe it was his way of repelling hostile magic. Or it was there to control inborn abilities, unrelenting visions. That's something we'll never know. It doesn't matter. Jacques de Aldersburg, if that was his name, is dead. End of story. What's next, Geralt? What do you mean? Come now. You've recovered what was stolen, punished those who hurt you, you played politics and dismantled conspiracies. You've loved, you've killed, you've come a long way, Geralt. What do you intend to do now? Only now do I feel my new life beginning. Born anew, baptized in blood and fire. A new ballad? Sounds too pompous, Dandelion. Take a look around. Life is simple, unpredictable, and beautiful. That's something new. You returned from the netherworld, got entangled in a real mess. You faced beasts and bastards who did you harm. And you're telling me life is beautiful? You're exaggerating again. Something ends, something begins. I'll take the last of the stolen secrets, take a deep breath, and move on. What can I say? Godspeed on your path, Witcher. The bloody fighting in Vizima revealed Jack de Aldersburg's madness. People ceased trusting Knights of the Order, began treating them like enemies. Foltes took advantage and limited the Order's power. He forgave the non-humans their mutiny as they assisted him in quelling the Order's rebellion. Yet the King's mercy was short-lived and it could not quell disdain and hatred Scoia'tael units soon reappeared along Forest Road. Yavin's fame as the one who had defeated the Order drew more elven youth to his cause. The sorceresses failed to gain influence over Foltest. The wartime chaos brought only misery. In time, all returned to normal. Both the righteous and the villainous survived. Few knew what had really happened in those days in Vizima. They were those who destiny had brought together with Geralt of Rivia. Yet they chose to remain silent. What then happened to the Witcher? That is a different tale entirely.
Tamaria and Redania are allies, thanks in no small part to you. For your toil, a worthy pouch of gold. Your Highness. Master. Farewell, sire.